Alright everybody, we're back with part 11 here. Just got through the Ocean View Hotel overlap as Alan. After meeting Thomas Zane, which was a very bizarre cutscene. Because we also got to see Jesse Faden on the TV for a little bit, who is the protagonist from Control. So I don't know if it's going to start actually delving into that as well. But we are ready to continue here. Um, not really sure what else we can really do in the meantime. I think we can just move forward with Alan here. I don't think we can do anything as Saga yet. We're almost done with all of the Echoes. I, th I don't know how close we are to finishing this game. But I would imagine we're getting pretty close. Let me look at my upgrades here. Personal space. I don't know if they give you enough to get everything. But I have, I have no idea. They didn't give enough manuscript fragments to get all the gun upgrades to Saga, so I'd imagine they don't give you enough for this. I wonder if the flare gun area of effect would be better. I'd have to look at those, but for now, let's just see what we got. Hear music. I'm not actually sure where I'm supposed to go next here. I think we might actually just be leaving. Let me look at my map. Find, yeah, we have to exit the hotel. Can I just... I don't know if I even have to wait for the elevator. I might just be able to leave this way. Yeah, here we go. Parliament Tower was here, again. Zane said the manuscript of return was the key to escaping. I had to get it before Scratch did. I wonder if our phone's ringing. No, alright, let's go into Parliament. I don't think we have to do anything out here. Wait, was there a echo ahead of me? Oh yeah, there's a few echoes. Huh. Let's grab these really quick. I thought it said 7 out of 8, so I don't know how we have another one. I didn't even see this when I came out of the hotel. Had I chosen to pursue the cult, or had they chosen me for some unknowable purpose? To be a demon. To sort the clues based on my interpretation. To change that which I observed. It was all a play. Shadows on the wall of a cave. An echo of the true events that happened somewhere else. Was I there to watch the shadows, or was I a shadow too? In a performance set up for someone else. I think so, Alex. I think so. Okay, and then it said we had another echo right here. Not seeing any other ones. I didn't even see one over here, though. Alright, I looked around for that echo. I can't find it. It might show up at a different point, kind of like that manuscript page that was by our car in Return 6, basically. So... I'll just have to keep an eye out for it later. Apparently there's points of no return in this game where you can backtrack and grab stuff you might have missed. So we should be okay still. Scratch was closing in. Gaining control. I couldn't let him escape the dark place. I had to keep him from Alice. Well, I mean, he's technically already out, isn't he? And the whole statue's covered in blood. Alright, let's just move on here. And I was- I re-looked at the thing. We were at 7 out of 8 for Echo's Draft 2. So we're still missing ones for draft one in a different set, too. But we're done with draft two now. 
Alright, let's see what's happening in the hotel again. Initiation, wait, initiation six, return? Oh yeah, that's right. I always get the, because the other one, Saga's thing is re called return. Well, this sounds like a pretty important chapter then. I needed to get inside the manuscript. Another one of these spiral doors. Do I have a map for this place? No. I don't know if they put echoes in here or not. Alice had turned the bathroom into a dark room. Oh. Set Alan shot in the head. Then scratch. Here's a computer. It's a pretty outdated looking computer for everything else in here. Barry Wheeler. Well, it's nice to know they stay in touch. I wonder if we'll actually see Barry. For months, after Ellen died, I didn't leave the apartment. I was flattened. By the confusion. The shock. The... The guilt. Fear. I could barely get out of bed. Barry Wheeler started visiting. He even cooked me meals. I couldn't stand the guy when I first met him, but he's a better friend than I gave him credit for. And he still checks in. Even after he moved out west. Well, that's good. A lot of pictures of Scratch in here. Alice's work had consumed the apartment. Her whole life. Yeah, it doesn't seem like she ever really recovered. <laughs> then again, seems like a pretty normal response to what happened. animal and I looked out at the street below and I saw a little girl crying like losing that balloon had just ended her whole world it was the perfect image of the horror of caring and that's when I got myself out of bed and I picked up my camera Weakness is clarity. There was something 
in the dark. Something I needed to see, to show. The more shadows I photographed and filmed, the more I felt like I was on the verge of a breakthrough. I submerged myself in it. I only went out at night. My search became obsessive, but I still had no idea what I was looking for. Dude, she needs to put a new bulb in that lamp. Things constantly flickering. There's a world hidden behind ours. A dark tide ebbing and flowing against reality. Faces in the shadows. Fear of the dark is really just fear of what could be that that vast paralyzing ocean but photography can freeze reality in a snapshot put a cage around the infinite and capture it i need to prove those faces are really there well, i'd say she accomplished it a lot of her photos seem like she got scratch. How did she get so many photos of scratch, though? <laughs> Let's uh, head in, I guess. escaping from the dark place, taking over Bright Falls. I couldn't remember writing it. I had not written it. I would never write this. I knew who had. Scratch, a monster with my face. If this story came true, Scratch would get out, people would die, destroying the manuscript. It wouldn't stop it from happening. I would have to fix it, edit it. I could not change the genre of the story. I'd have to work within the constraints set by Scratch. I needed someone in the story to fight the darkness. Saga Anderson. I kept seeing her in my visions. She was already in Bright Falls, already involved, but she was not in return. Not yet. I'd write her in, try to stop Scratch within the limits of the horror story. It was almost impossible. It was taking too long. I had not reached the end. Holy shit, so that's how that happened. That's who was making all of the edits to the manuscript. It was actually Alan and not Scratch. That's nuts. Well, I kind of figured Scratch is the one that shot Alan in the head. So Alan is able to loop himself in the dark place then, because we already came across her dead body before. And then we were possessed by Scratch. Some, there's still a lot of pieces missing to this puzzle, though, so we, we have to figure out what the hell's actually going on. Like, how did that loop? I don't know, man. This is getting nuts. Well, let's just continue here. Scratch stopped me before I could finish my edits to the manuscript. Yeah, you don't say. The memory of my edits was already fading. Terrible things would happen if the manuscript came true. Scratch was there, at Parliament Tower, undoing my work. He could use the story to escape. He could go after Alice. Well, that's not good. So we have the right to continue here. 
There's still two more documentaries, apparently. What did we get for this? Oh, another song. Alright, so the only thing we can do is write, so we might as well start here. Zane had said we worked on Return together. That was a lie. Scratch wrote Return. I would pay Zane another visit. He had guided me to two murder sites. I needed a new one to get back to Parliament Tower. A new draft of initiation. messed up here. Initiation 7 mass. Why is everything all wet? It was locked from the other side. So we can always just return to this point somehow. Very interesting. Alright, let's uh, see what's going on here. I don't have time for this, so let's get it over with. Tell me, was this all fake? A show? No one said otherwise, Mr. Wake. It was to indulge you, but we can stop pretending now. Uh, masks come off. Oh, I wouldn't go that far. I don't even think you know who's under your mask, but you know how to make things difficult for yourself. All these rules, endless, convoluted loops you insist on going through. You are so lucky, you know. There are so many people helping you. Armies of people. Myself. Your wife. Alice. I need to get to her. She's in danger. She is. Because of you. And so is someone important to me, someone you pulled into this. You keep opening doors, peeking in, reaching through to get what you want, and that puts you in my path. I don't know what you're talking about. I have to go now. Maybe you will make it through this time. This has gone on long enough. This and our night springs, it was a nice distraction. It's time someone gave me a straight answer here. The next time we meet, the circumstances will be very different. And you would do well to return the favor by playing your part. Or stay out of my way, Mr. Wake. Whatever you say. Well, that was interesting. Door, Zane, the masks were finally coming off. Was it a sign I was closer to escaping? I had no time to waste. So, I wonder who Mr. Door is. Is that possibly Saga's father then? It's the only person I can think of that would be pulled into this that he wouldn't have wanted involved. 
That's weird. Where, where do I even have to go? Oh, we just have to get out of here? Oh, great, all the doors are locked again. Missing something. Oh, no, not this one. Ooh, is that book still the same? Yeah. Wasn't sure if anything actually changed after all this time. What do you have to say? Lauta, that held you close, Tom. Hey, but go on, what set the cranny in the snow? When the panic is biggest, the help is also near. Thor didn't seem happy to see me this time. Hearing the master is the root of wisdom. But don't let the game get you down. He's playing his role. Maybe put him in your films, Tom. Like you have put me. <laughs> what films? <laughs> I'm a fan of your masterworks. Uh, there is Tom the Poet, my favorite. And Uerden Uer is the most famous one, of course. And is it true what I hear? That it's coming back to cinemas? Is there a bottom to this rumor? I need to get back to my apartment. Can you help me? Well, plan is half done. You asked me to make sure you won't forget the... Mikä se valokuva oli? The light pictures. The photos you artist wife took. They are waiting in the shoe box in the basement. What you leave behind you find in front of you. Okay. Thanks, Adi. All right, I guess we have to go back through the basement then. Th that's another thing with both this and the first game is why do people always call Alan Tom? Because uh, the old gods of Asgard kept referring to Alan as Tom too, so I'm hoping we get a straight answer on that as well. the right way. We gotta go this way. Find Alice's photos in a shoebox. This basement, man. All right, here we go. These were Alice's photos. I recognized the style. One showed the clicker sinking into darkness. The other showed a light in the shape of a bullet. They were important, even if I didn't know what to do with them yet. It's interesting. Wonder if that's how the wait, but how? Yeah, how, that's still another thing. Is how did the clicker get sent through? TV flickered before. Oh, that ends the part? 
Wait, how did that end the part? That's weird. That was an extremely short part. But I guess, I mean, we learned... Well, we didn't learn more about Mr. Door. We just actually got some more questions about who he is. I guess we just continue. Not much really happened. <laughs> Well, that's not very reassuring for us. Looks like our Alan is given up again. Losing his mind just like he did in the first game. Do I need to use the shoebox or anything? No, I think we're still good. So what What do we do now? The, other, the one thing is, too, is we never found the murder site for Mulligan and Thornton. Which is weird, because that happened before... Um, Cynthia Weaver's boss fight. So it's a little out of order in terms of the way the initiations moved. To get to Parliament Tower, I needed to find the murder site. Same would know where to find one. Yeah, but that one echo that wasn't there before is now here. So looks like we can get it this time. Inside this messy maze of blood trails, I was chasing the cult through. I ran into the filmmaker, Thomas Zane, an esoteric bohemian with a hard-on for acts of cruelty performed in the name of occult nonsense. A director wants to control every aspect of the world in their films. Is the cult leader any different? Was Zane just another alias for Scratch? There was a rumor that Wake and Zane had been working on something together. I was going to get the truth out of Zane with whatever means necessary. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if Zane was a different Mr. Scratch. Because that would act—I mean, that would actually explain it. Because um, Thomas Zane does remind me a lot of how Mr. Scratch acted in. Um, Alan Wake's American Nightmare. They even played the I'm a Psycho song when we were with them, which was kind of Mr. Scratch's, like, theme song in that game. So I wonder if they're kind of hinting at that, but, I mean, I don't know. We don't have all the answers just yet. Missing two of those, or three of those. Oh, this is it. This is for draft three. There's still nine more echoes for this. Damn, we still have a bunch of echoes then. Let's get to the hotel here. How do we get to the room that Zane was even in again? Zane's room, 665, was upstairs. The elevator would take me there. Oh, never mind. Oh, we got some music this time.
Probably gonna have to interact with this again. Something told me Zane wouldn't be happy to see me this time. Oh. Doesn't that mean he doesn't look happy either? Our own Alan. I'm in control now. The second you try anything, I will shoot you in the head! Scratch wrote return, not me! You're a fucking liar! You'd given up. You stopped writing. You said it was too dangerous, that, that we didn't deserve to get out. And then he showed up. Scratch. He promised to write. To get me the hell out of here. He was magnificent. A visionary. I mean, it was art. Then, when he finished, he took return and left me behind. It's still here, and so is he. I know I fucked up. But you can still catch him before he gets out. Before he gets to your wife. And when you get to him, don't hesitate. Kill the bastard for what he did to us. There's a murder site in my cinema where my film Nightless Night is playing. I told you not to try anything! Well, that escalated really quickly. Dude, Thomas Zane's smile, man. That was definitely a scratch smile. Dude, things are getting really trippy. Oh. have gone missing beyond the labyrinth of me when you're lost you're lost in your own company and cut oh. now that is drama Um, okay, so I guess he's all right. What the fuck? I had a million <laughs> questions about Zane, but I had more pressing concerns. Zane's film, Initiation 8. I had to find the movie theater poet cinema. The next murder site was there. Zane had created the film in tandem with Return to escape the dark place. Wait, what the hell? I don't remember having to go through all of this. Oh, that's because I'm back on the rooftop. Actually, since I'm here, though, let me check my map. I wasn't sure if any new uh, echoes would show up. This is just another suitcase. We don't have to worry about that, though. All right, I'm going to head back to the elevator. All right, we're back outside now. I could see the searchlight beams of the movie theater on the far side of the plaza. Guess that's where we're headed. So, if... I wonder... Tim Breaker... Why is he after Mr. Door, then? That's another thing I need answered. Wait, could one of these be open? No, it was locked, locked on the other side. Let's burst these down. I feel like that container should have had a battery in it. This was the moment to destroy it. I can't wait. I can't wait. I can't wait. I can't wait. 
Was actually alive, but this one is. I hate these quick ones, man. I couldn't that get in. Also, I was missing something. Alright, where are we now? Okay, so we're getting out onto this street. There's actually a point of interest in there. I wonder if that's where Tim might be. Nightless night. Like a whole apartment in there. I wonder if I'm supposed to be able to take light from it or something. Looks like there might be a word of power over here somewhere. Alright, I think I found this word of power. I got jumped by two shadows and stuff. But I think it's over here. I think this is the one it's pointing at, at least. But it's right on this wall. Word of aid. And then there was also a suitcase right here. I already looted it. So our inventory's capped out again. Oh, we can climb this ladder. I saw... I pointed it out. There's an echo right there. So I probably have to climb up the ladder. But there was also supposed to be an echo over here as well. Or is that the same one? I don't know, I might have to go up and then come back down to look for it or something. But I also just wanted to know what was over here. Here's a container. This is really a dead end. Oh wait, we can actually open that fence then, right? Because this is locked on this side. There we go. Oh wait, no. Here's the other echo. Something kept me going. A broken man. No hope, no prospects, no love. Too stubborn to die, like a cockroach with a misguided sense of honor and justice in a city where there can never be justice. Alright, another billboard echo down. I think we have to get onto the roof for the next one. That was weird. Floating traffic cone. Making sure there's no word of power. I say God made us in his image. <laughs> Just like us, he is an uncaring, cruel son of a bitch. Having made it in heaven, he doesn't want us there, dirtying up all that nice white upholstery. And he doesn't want to reach down to help us. He gets his kicks just binge watching us struggling. Hurting, killing, dying, screwing it up again and again, lazily stirring it up when things threaten to get too placid. This city is only here to satisfy his sick, voyeuristic pleasure. 
Guess he sure has a grim way with words, though. How many more billboard echoes do we need? Oh, that's all of them. We have six out of six of those now. Alright, we should be good to head into the theater now. I still wonder what's up with that one room, though. It's locked. It's over in that alley, basically. Because I can't do anything with that. What the hell? Who's in there? The cinema lobby was a gateway to other realities on the silver screen. I could set a scene here. I could see this side of the echo, but where's the black dot? Do I have any scenes I can I actually a set right now? The story. One that Do not. Wonder if the other side of that echoes upstairs. Do we have a map for this place or anything? Oh yeah, I think I just saw it. Let me open this first. There we go, Poet Cinema. I go this way though. I think we have another TV thing for Alan in here. Listen, the question is, how do you run from an idea, from a thought, from a story that lives in your head? You can't escape your fears. You carry your monsters with you. The devil will be back. It's in you. You're running right back to it. A loop. I have to stop. Stop running. Stop writing. I won't write another word. It's too dangerous. Only horror comes out of it. People get hurt. I would let the currents of this ocean wash me away. But what if I forget why I stopped? What if I forget I stopped at all? That is fucked up. If that happens, I'll start writing again. Did I stop writing at some point? I can't stop. There's too much at stake. I mean, yes, I would say you did. <laughs> Thomas told us so, too. Go, just managed all that really quick. All right, let's see what else we got down here now. Not seen anything in here yet. So it looks like we're going up. in there. Let's go upstairs first then. We're, they let us go in a lot of places. I was missing something. Nope, that's locked. case looking for the cult of the word for a lifetime or more the only case i'd ever been on they would surface from the dark with their depraved acts of violence and fade back into the night leaving behind bloody crime scenes and clues heavy with obscure meanings that led nowhere arriving at the cinema i felt them monumental terrifying revelation trembling before me ready to open its jaws and swallow me whole this place had significance to the cult there was something to use there all right there's our first plot
Oh, God damn it. More painkillers. We need another word of a uh, lamp or something like that to be able to increase our inventory. I needed a new draft of the story. One that would get me ahead. Alright. Well, there's blood everywhere now. The first step toward the murder site. I was making progress. Someone had barricaded themselves in the room. But we didn't even go into the bathroom before. Here's another suitcase. Could only really pick up the flares, though. I wonder if we have any words of power. Some echoes coming up. Oh wait, I must have, I must have been near them to where the point the game located them even before I saw them. Oh wait, here we go. I actually just saw the arrow when I was looking around. Dude, these are hidden pretty well. Word of fix. I think there was another one inside of the bathroom area too. On the ceiling above us. So we can go grab that really quick too. I didn't even see an arrow when I was walking around. Yeah, here it is. Word of action. Alright, I think I figured this out. I changed the story back to the default, but I think we gotta change it when we're actually in the back room here. Yeah, there we go. Now we're beyond it. ceremony or so we made our new members believe two of New York's finest they had performed endless favors to earn their place among us we had something special waiting for them and something very special for you Alex Casey who's your leader Alan Wake hmm? scratch Zane give me a name <laughs> You will meet him soon enough. There was no end to the corruption. It fit the genre, so I'd use it. Well, Alex Casey's interrogating Ilmo. We change it from within here. See what else is new. Looks like we can go back there now. Anything different upstairs? Still can't get to the rooftop. All right, I think we only have that one way to go then. What the hell are these just pointing all over the place? I think it was for this one. Which we already got that. Peter Hall. There's a new echo in here. 
can also take the light out of this room. Well, before I do that, let's uh, see if we can get this echo. He was a mythic auteur in the art house cinema, a rising star coming to America from Finland. But he only created one film, Tom the Poet, before he went missing, mirroring the vanishing of the main character in the movie, played by himself. The biggest mystery was around his lost film and early work made in Finland. Nightless Night, rumored to have mystic properties. Some claimed it was a snuff film, that the ritual murder in the film was an actual murder. There were no known surviving copies, but the cult chased it as if it were their unholy grail, just like Wake's books were. Very interesting. All right, so let's grab this light and see what changes. Wait a second. What's in this area? Oh, we could, okay. I wasn't sure if we could enter from both ways. Not sure we're gonna need this or not yet. I can't even see what's happening. is out my inventory yet again. Um, might as well just max my health and grab this. So that might have just been for the containers. We can hold on to that light now. Alright, let's try our first scene here. Echo now. Following you, following, you, following your master into La La Land, a sad bunch of clowns in funny masks and hoods, pretending to be a secret society. Well, maybe it is you who's playing a role, Mr. Casey. A role carefully laid out for you, a puppet blindly performing the ritual steps for the glory of the cult, huh? What the fuck have you been smoking? Nightless night. A clip of the lost film survived. You will see, Mr. Casey. In the nightless night, you will finally see. Nightless night was Zane's film. It played a role in this story. All right, this is the same, but there we go. We got another thing we can summon. Can we interact with the screen at all? Jesus Christ. Some of these guys are enemies. Can't 
I need a better camera for melee attacks, though. Like, pushes them off screen. Alright, so I think that's all we can do in this plot. Let's try the other one. Doors open now. What's over here, though? Nothing. All right, but do we have a new echo now? Why is there a dot here? Huh. I wonder if it's something that shows up in the other scene. I didn't even look to see if we had a new echo. No, we don't. Alright, let's see, see what's upstairs then. Cops had gotten their 15 minutes of fame with the cult, and it had been a scream. They were the murder victims. I had to find a way into the projection booth somehow. Always use some more batteries. Alright, so that's a dead end. I just changed the scene in the lobby for the new one to see what would happen, but there was nothing, so let's just summon our new scene here. What is this? Is that Casey? Like Alex Casey in our story or the real Alex Casey? Door's gone, so Zane was in the clique holding my lamp. Was he playing me in his film? Zane's lamp was to at me light. I could transfer the light in my lamp to his. Alright, so that's why we need that light. The light of the lamp shone out of the screen and revealed the door. Investigate the alley. Well, is there anything we can do in here? Dude, this is so unique, the way they are doing this. I was back out into the night. The seedy alley away from prying eyes was a good scene for dark deeds. Wait, is this where I crawled through before, but there was a, like, truck here instead? Alright, I cleaned up my inventory a little bit and saved. There was also a suitcase right here. So I had to put that stuff in my inventory as well. There was nothing in this garage either. Alright, let's look at our map here. What do we got? Oh, there's two echoes in this area too. And whatever that is. I can actually change this scene out here. Probably should look around first though. Surprised we didn't stumble upon a word sure power the yet. On the plot board. Hmm. 
Oh, is this how we get back in the theater? Probably. Alright, so I don't think any of our echoes are gonna be in the default area here. So let's try the first one. Someone had fallen to their death from the rooftop. Can I actually get up there though? Oh, what the hell? Well, it looks like once we go down there, we're... ...kind of stuck there. So let's change this scene again here. For this initiation, do you? Nah. I'm sure we'll just chant some ceremonial stuff. N nothing to it. Well, it's about time. We paid our dues. Made plenty of their problems disappear. Dumped all those nobodies down that chute. What we did or didn't do, it's all behind us now. We're going straight to the top, partner. Yep, like we died and went to heaven. Christ, man, the cops are so corrupt. Anything else change in this scene? I doubt we can get back into the theater still. Guess we can grab the light here. I was making progress. Probably gonna need it for a different scene. Oh wait, no, I think we just need it for this. Wait a second. This might be what we actually have to do. So can we actually go into the chute? No, okay, it won't let us. So then what happens if we use this? In the city trapped in eternal night, they watch the film where the night never arrives, where the night hides in your mind. Alright, so we had a poster there. I think that is all that was in here then. Seems to be a running theme with scenes that don't actually have anything. So they just have like a dialogue thing? Alright, so I think we have to get to the roof then before we can get that one echo. So we're going to have to use this. What the hell's tin, man? I need a new map. Straight to the top. The dirty cops looked down on the city. Their city. They had committed repulsive deeds to get there. They told themselves it was worth it. Now let's get further up here. I didn't think we'd get this high up. Alright, 
side. Looks like we can go that way. Like, there's actually a word of power up here somewhere. Yeah, I think it's going to be somewhere over here. Oh, here's another suitcase. There it is. Word of Stuff. Wait, is Word of Stuff the one that gives us... Yeah, let's get this. <laughs> Pick these up now. Where am I on this map? Oh, I'm over here. So that is the back lot. I, I, I don't know how we angle ourselves to actually see that, though. Does going through this gate over here give us that angle, or do I have to switch the scene when I'm just up the ladder? Oh, wait, I think Tim's over here. It could not be opened on the side. No. Oh, I think that's probably how we get to him. But before we do that... Oh, here's a safe room. Alright, just... Emptied my inventory and saved really quick. This might be where we can get that echo now. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, we should probably talk to Tim first. Because I don't think Tim's our story path. He never is. Because then we can unlock the door, too. I think we actually need this echo. Another sane face. Not sure how sane I'm feeling. So now we should be able to get some more info about Door with him. Be careful out there, Tim. If you see me, make sure it's really me. Not some psycho wearing my face. Sounds like you've been having a rough go. I've been there. The missing time. The aliens. Missing time? It's the same thing I've been saying. The dreams. Sometimes I wake up in a completely different place missing entire days. I have no idea what happened, but I'm trying to find out. Things always get better if you just keep moving forward, Alan. Wait, what's this about aliens? Oh, uh, I was just convinced that everything going on with me was because of aliens. Abductions, signals beamed into my head, that kind of thing. Now I know it's been door all along. I haven't ruled out him being an alien, though. All right. Yeah, I'm still kind of surprised how well he's taken all this. All right, let's look at our map. Seems like we've been pretty much on track with everything here. There's this, though. I don't know where that is. And it's at the point now where I don't even know what's new here. It's got a lot of stuff written down. Oh, there's the word of power. There we go, word of lamb. That was the only one that we had on the map still, right? 
All right, I actually just looked it up. We actually have every single word of power now. There's 28 in total, so they do not give you enough to get all of the upgrades. Though, you don't really need all of them. There's only some that are actually, like, pretty decent and others that don't really affect too much of how the game is played. So we're done with words of power now. We still need echoes, though. I think some of the echoes that I'm missing in the first draft are back in the subway, but in different scenes for those areas. So I might have to backtrack to grab those. But let's just save really quick here. Unless those are just kind of missable. But that would be before the game really even explains that. Though there's nothing for getting all of the echoes anyways. But we should just be able to continue here now though. I need this scene, right? I changed the story. And with that, the dark place changed. Don't you fucking move, or I'll blow you away. You got me, Mr. Casey. I'm all yours. Go ahead. Ask that burning question in your mind. How did you do it? How did you get me into that film clip without my remembering it? Talk to me, damn it! You've seen the film? Good, good. Now you're ready to meet the Grand Master. He's waiting for you in the projection booth where everything will be revealed. Where he will project a new reality onto this one. And now, Mr. Casey, I've played my part to the end. No, no, no! Crazy bastard! Why'd he jump? The projection booth. Was that where I'd find the murder site? So it was Ilmo that jumped in the dark place story. <laughs> so we got a new scene now. What happens if we change it to Grandmaster out here? I don't know. Can we still get down from here? It's just like pitch black out here. What the hell was that? I hate when you get near doors and it pushes you. Oh shit. Got rid of him really quick. Can't even see what the hell's happening. We've actually got a ladder here now, though. Any new echoes out here? No, how many echoes do we have for this? Okay, we still have two more. I'm gonna have to change the scene to just get back down. Oh, they're coming out of the basement. Good projectile. How am I not hitting him? Good. 
Okay, sometimes the camera gets so close. Okay, come on, man. I was mid dodge. many of these assholes are there? Jesus Christ. Oh my god, dude. They're tearing me to pieces right now. I can't move. Couldn't reload my flare gun. Jesus Christ, we got jumped. Okay, what if we use Grandmaster when we're actually down here? The scene changed with the story. Alright, it looks like this door is open now. Do we have any echoes now that we're down? Now, oh, Jesus, man. That was intense. There were a whole army at us. Did I leave stuff in the... Uh, okay. Jesus, man, what is going on? Jesus, I don't know what the hell's happening. There's always getting attacked off screen. I think I may have left some stuff in that suitcase in here. There we go. Constantly getting jumped. What changes in here? Guns are never reloaded. Save it. Okay, before anything gets too crazy in here. <laughs> Still can't get into the projection booth. Alright, we might be safe here. I found myself in a maze of film equipment. There had to be a way to the projection booth from here. I guess we're inside of the alone. screen now. I'm here, you son of a bitch! Show yourself! The grand master of my ass! You're a clown in a mask! Let's 
So Casey's in here with us. Is there anything else out here? Ooh, hopefully we don't get into any giant fights again. I don't know if I have the resources for it. I was back where I started. A loop within a loop. I had to keep going. Are we in an overlap? Show yourself! Who, who was it? Who said that? You're a grand mask of my ass. You're a clown in a mask. I'm not the one wearing a mask here, you moron. Sounds like Casey's also stuck in this loop. The Casey in the story was losing it. I wasn't far behind. Oh shit, the door's locked this time. No, oh, not this one, no. I was back at the beginning again. I had to keep going. Find a way to the murder site. I'm here, you son of a bitch! Hey! Show yourself! Who, who was that? Who said that? That's a real clever trick, asshole! It's gone. You can run, but you can't I hide! Saw someone. The grand master of my ass! You're a clown and a man! I'm not the one wearing a mask here, you moron! Why don't you come here and say that to my face, buddy? <laughs> the moron. He's yelling at himself, man. We have a TV. I think that's all of the TV shows. Well, the Alan one specifically. So that's how he started writing Initiation. But how the hell do we get out of this? Can't go that way. Can we go this way? Oh, here we go. I was back at the beginning again. I had to keep going. Find a way to the murder site. I'm here, you son of a bitch! Show yourself! Oh, who was it? Shut up! Shut up! Shut the fuck up! You can run, but you Looks like Casey. Up. Get all you fuckers! A clown in a mask! Casey? I'm the... Who's there? <laughs> Look, you got the wrong guy. I'm not Alex Casey. Oh, it's I Sam Lake. In the movies. He's just a fictional character. What, what? What's going on here? You don't have to kill me. You don't have to go get that knife and stab me. You can just give up and go back. Forget about the ritual sacrifice to open the way. The hell is he talking about? The ritual sacrifice to open the way. No. <laughs> don't do it. You don't have to become a monster. Just you know what knife he's talking about. In the back and go. A knife in the back? Everything about this was absurd. Our dialogue forced and ridiculous. In <laughs> desperate need of another pass. But I'd play along to see where it took me. Knife in the back? I don't even know what he's talking about. All the doors behind him are locked. Don't, don't go looking for the knife. A knife. Oh, what the oh, hell? No. Oh no, you don't! 
You'll be sorry! All I was gonna do is try to cut him free. Come on, Sam, where are you? Oh, we're heading into an overlap. This is the Mulligan and Thornton one. I was getting close. Wait, so we're fight are we fighting Sam Lake? <laughs> makes any sense is in your psychotic brain as a fictional character in a story you have fulfilled your purpose you brought the writer of the story here you can go now casey no, no, no i'm not going anywhere before i get some answers how was i in that movie how, why does all this feel so familiar what who the fuck are you who the fuck am i no Welcome to you, Alan Wake. What the hell? This is the ritual to lead you on. We are just one step away from your final destination, Mr. Wake. But first, here's an unanswered mystery for you. If Casey was fictional, and you assumed his role as a detective, are you now fictional too? Whose story are you living, Mr. Wake? The visions are getting under my skin, coming too close for comfort. Not a separate layer, but mingling with my own reality in the dark place. Huh. That is very weird. So aren't we still missing an echo? Oh, there's still another show as well, apparently. I wonder if Alex Casey in the real world is actually fictional then. Maybe that's who Mr. Door is talking about? And that's maybe how we get back to the real world? Maybe we take him over? I don't know. It just, it sounds crazy, but it wouldn't be beyond me in this game. And who the hell is the Grandmaster? Wait. Dead end. This can't be right. Did I miss something? Well, it's probably going to be different when we open this door. Oh, it's not all black and white anymore. A murder site. Those are Mulligan and Thornton, I take it. The mask was the key. This is how I could help her. Saga Anderson, listen. I, I've been tricked. Scratch wrote returned. I, I tried to fix the story, but he stopped me before I reached the end. He has it now. It's the key to escape. What do you mean, escape? Oh, you scratch. I need to stop him. I need to stop him before he gets out. He's after Alice. I'm still trapped, but I'm making progress. I wrote you in to be the story's hero. Scratch made a horror story. I need to match the genre. It has to be dark, but the hero can break through, save her family, save us all. Save her family? Are you talking about my family? Yes. Whatever you're doing, it's working. You just need to keep going. Is we have family in the horror story? Closer now. Closer than ever before. But there was no time to lose. Everything was hanging in the balance. I could still lose it all. 
Parliament Tower. I had to make it work this time. I could stop Scratch, get the manuscript, fix its ending. Alright, there we go. So that's all of the overlaps we did as Saga. So things are going to be connecting here very soon. I'm wondering if we're getting close to the end. So the, the points of no return that I'm hearing about are probably what's going to be happening next. I don't know if the next part's going to be the finale or not, but it could be depending on how, how fast we get through it, I guess. But I don't know. <laughs> Dude, things are getting crazy. We're still getting a lot of questions and mysteries that we don't have answers to yet. So now I'm wondering what the hell's going on with Alex Casey and why Sam Lake was freaking out at us. This game's just nuts. It's very trippy and it keeps you guessing. But it has some really, really good storytelling. So I'm enjoying every minute of it. But I'm going to have to see what's up with those Draft 1 Echoes. So I might have to go back to the subway and figure that out. Um, but we have everything done with Saga. So I think we just keep continuing as Alan after this. But as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in part 12.